What's going on everybody? Welcome to a brand new YouTube video. Today we're touring the house. It's been a while, but you know, we're finally gonna walk you through the brand new house because it's kind of decorated. It is not fully decorated, but it is kind of. This is the front door. So welcome to the front door, but we're not gonna start here. We're gonna start over there in the garage. Oh yeah. Don't come into the house. You will be politely shot, but you were warned. Welcome to the garage where we park cars. Just mine for right now. Sydney's stays on the street because the hoes park on the street. Um, no, but this is the garage. Not much going on here. They never finished the wall, so that's kind of weird. So it's just, it's just that. Um, the other day the shelves fell, so I just put them back up. On this side we have the charger for the Tesla. Um, so the Tesla can charge in the house. That's pretty nice to have. And it charges very quickly. But now we can take a look on the inside of the house, going through the garage door here. Welcome in. Come in, come in, don't be shy. So, the garage immediately dumps into the laundry room in case you ever need to strip down. We have our washer here. Is it, isn't it big? And then one of my favorite parts of the house, the dryer. We didn't have a dryer in our old apartment. And then we have a little closet where we're keeping a lot of cat toys and then Diego's like army uniforms and spare blankets and stuff. Then uh, we're gonna make our way in. Oh, what's this door? It's a half bath. Um, but if you walk in here, have our nice U-line decoration. Um, there's not much to report, but half bath in there. Then we're gonna come out here shut the door and pantry here handy dandy so we have the fridge here this fridge is sick look at this it's like a modern-esque fridge also when you close it there's no door handles where's the handle it's inside you have to reach inside i figured out who makes ge's refrigerators and it's this random company mita I, I don't know how they make their refrigerators, but they do. So we bought theirs directly from them instead of GE and paying an outrageous price. But the rest of this appliance is RGE. Um, I just put in this backsplash just a little bit ago. That was actually in a video. So if you guys watched that, then you saw me put in the backsplash. Pretty nice. It was just white prior. We have our dishwasher. Then we have our sink here, which I just, we installed probably around our second day in. It, before it was just some metal little thing that stuck out. But now we have this little sprayer and then we got the pot filler. All on Amazon. Just installed this light too with my brother. That was, that was fun. That was fun. But then if you just wanna one day enjoy sitting underneath the light, you can. Cause right here's actually a bar where you can sit and enjoy meals. Do we do that often? No, actually. But you know who does enjoy this chair is Spud. Spud is our male cat who absolutely enjoys this chair. But not on any other chair. He doesn't, en oh, never mind. He does enjoy all of them. every single one of these chairs. Um, and then exactly where you are standing right there is where there is not a kitchen table. Now, one day we might, and it'll look something like this. That's me eating food. And then we can eat directly next to the cats because that's where their little station is. They enjoy their water and food right there. And then we make our way right behind you guys. Whoa, open concept, open flow. Comes right into the living room where we have our couch that you guys watch me in, the crep walk, shoved through that door. Pain, absolute pain. And we can sit right here and watch. What are we watching? Oh my gosh, some solid YouTube content. This is my favorite YouTube. This is my favorite YouTube guy. And then over here we have a cat tree where the cats do their thing. And then a fake plant because we can't have real ones because the cats will just off themselves. Love this little night table or uh, TV stand that Sydney picked out. Fabulous job. Now let's make our way into the bedroom. Sydney, take it. So, we're gonna be entering the bedroom now. Um, a nice first floor 
master suite, which is um, a very desirable thing for resale um, value because you know old people don't want to walk up the steps or they can't. So having a nice like master bedroom on the first floor is ideal. Um, here we have a cat tree, so um, the cat stops scratching on the bottom of the bed frame. Still didn't stop them, but they're living their life. Um, and then we have our mattress and bed frame. Um, this mattress, fun fact, we actually bought it off of Amazon. It was like $400, it's a king size. It's so good, this is the best mattress I've ever slept on. Um, and then headboard, two matching nightstands that um, are wonderful. My brother and sister-in-law got for us. Um, thank you, Becca and Blaine. Then we have our curtains, which they also helped us install or hang up, Becca Slays. Um, and then we have our three laundry sorter, ignore all the dirty clothes. But it's really handy if you decide you actually wanna sort your laundry. I don't really sort it, but to each their own. This is one of my favorite parts of the house. Um, the nice double dual sink, Jack and Jill. What? Dual vanity. Jack and Jill. Dual vanity, oh, my bad dog. Sorry, I'm not miss architecture. Um, and then we have all of like our skincare products, all that stuff. I wanna like put it in the drawers, but that's not gonna happen. A nice shower. Fun fact, I showered in the upstairs bathroom for the first time and the water pressure is so much better up there. So like we're gonna have to figure that out. Um, the bathroom in here, it's funny because that bathroom door actually doesn't lock, but this bathroom door does. But when you get in there, you literally have to like knock your knees out to actually shut the door, so doesn't make sense to me. And then we have a nice walk-in closet. We're gonna pass the phone back over the... We're gonna bring it back over to Diego. <laughs> ring, ring, hello, we passed the phone. Let's leave here. This closet's off limits. No. Some privacy has to stay private. Sydney forgot to say that this is where the magic happens. Because it's the... That's what you're supposed to say when you walked in here. Let's make our way back out here. So we go through this massive room where we have, I don't know, would you guys put a table right here? Because back up a little bit. Great idea for a table. There's no overhead light unless it was centered right here, but then you have bar stool, that coming in. And then, yeah, I just, personally, I think we should just have like a little bar right here. Personally, or like a tiny table. Sydney's looking at me weird. Um, we just hung this up. If you can't tell, we're going for a little cat theme. Uh, those are some wine glasses, bottles. bottles, cats, more cats. And then this is the entryway Sydney was talking about. And, uh, stub my toe, what is that? I'm just kidding. <laughs> and then here's my office. You guys have already seen this though. There's not much going on here. It's an absolute mess. Cause how do you function with a office that's not a mess? I still haven't even unboxed things. Mostly because I don't want to. And then we make our way upstairs, where I never go. So honestly, I probably shouldn't be doing this part of the house tour, but I am. <laughs> we have a landing on our stairs. By the way, I didn't mention, I think this house is like 23, 2400 square feet, something along those lines. But this is the grand foyer. Just kidding. I don't know what this is called. I guess this is the loft that we added onto the house when we built it so we could have two stories instead of one. But again, there's nothing, like this is way too much space. I don't know if this, I feel like the camera doesn't make up for how much space this is, but like. Oh dude, what was that? It was so sharp. If I were to lay down right here, you'd probably put three of me across the carpet. And I am about seven feet tall, so that's a lot of, that's a lot of length. I don't know the width and length, but then, and then walk in here, this is the guest bedroom. Um, there's more art and decoration in this guest room than our actual bedroom. And the guest room actually has a TV. We don't even have a TV in our room. I, I don't know why. We, I don't know, we don't watch TV in there. But every room here has walk-in closets. And you're gonna see there's a lot of closet space in this house, which is pretty nice. Walking out of the guest room across this massive foyer, or whatever it's called, into another closet. This is, I guess, it could be a linen closet, and that's what we use it for. We have our linen. Yeah, attic access right there, and then the other one. And then after that closet, guess what? It is this way. 
take a take a 90 degree right out of that closet. <gasps> Another closet. Where? There's a closet. You got an HVAC system and a water heater and a whole bunch of space. This room is literally like the size of another bedroom. Like, wait, let me. It's bigger than this. So, Sydney's friend is storing some stuff here. So we're charging her rent. It's pretty nice. Uh, you know what? I think I've. I don't come up here at all. So, Sydney can show you the rest of the upstairs. Oh, hey. Um, I don't know if Diego pointed out our lovely decor in the middle of the loft area. Uh, this is our litter robot. It's a piece of shit. Don't buy it. Okay, it's not that bad, but like get the litter robot four um, over the three. So we're walking into the guest bathroom. This is the third bathroom. Um, we've got our nice little cat decor, um, a toilet, you know, vibes. Nice uh, bathtub, if I ever want to soak. Um, I haven't actually taken a bath here yet, but I kind of want to. But that water pressure is great. And then we're going to circle into my office. Like, this is like my little hangout area. I'm still working on like hanging things up. I'm having like a decision crisis about what I want on the walls. So I just haven't hung anything on the walls. That's how we are with the bedroom too. It's really overwhelming. Um, but I have like a little bookshelf, which used to be in our bedroom, but Diego didn't really like. Um, and then we can circle into my earth and crafts closet. Um, this box needs to be thrown away, but it's fine. I have like my sewing machine, um, a bunch of letters that Diego sent me, and I have like puzzles and yarn and Legos. Um, then we're gonna circle around here. I have a floor pillow that Spud likes to maul. Um, and then nice curtains and a little pompous on chair. And then we're gonna circle around to my puzzle board. Um, I messed up the border and I, there are like a few pieces that are out of place. So I think I'm just gonna restart on it. But it's so cool because you can pull out the drawers and keep the cats from playing with the pieces and then it has this like little cover over it. Spud sometimes likes to stand up on here. Um, we're gonna circle over to my desk. Got a nice monitor. Um, my dad got that for me. My mom got me the puzzle board, which is dope. Um, and then my standing desk, it actually raises, which is cool. Um, if I ever feel like a boss bitch. But that's it for my office. Um, yeah, this is about, we're about done. Hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, we have our back porch, let's go. So we're trying not to film like the, sided, the sides of the actual building so it's gonna stay kind of zoomed in. Um, but we have a nice little table out here. We have a charcoal grill over there. Um, over there we had a, we have a dead snake rotting in the woods. Um, yeah, this is about it. I really wanna put a little hammock stand there but I don't know if we're allowed to because of our HOA. But we'll see what happens and then over here, our neighbors have installed a really nice pool. Um, whenever it rains, it gets naturally filled up. I think it's a really nice, like, alternative um, to a regular pool, you know? And then they have a, water, a waterfall feature that, like, goes into our yard with the mud. It's fabulous. But um, that about concludes our outside. You guys ever watch this? He's kind of cute. If you know his socials, let me know. I'm kind of trying to link. And that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, don't leave a, th I mean, leave a thumbs up. Even if you didn't like it, still leave a thumbs up. This is a lot better than our previous apartment, don't you think? Absolutely. This isn't an apartment. This is a house, but. That we own. We have a mortgage. Woo, crippling debt. Anyways, leave a thumbs up. Leave a like, subscribe. If you have any ideas or recommendations of the space, like what we should do. We're trying to integrate more color into it. 
Yeah, because every single wall is white. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching this video. Peace. Bye. Mommy and big forever. Mommy and big forever.